This is the first step along your path to a gateway. A gateway beyond which is discovery. Your own discovery of reality, of truth, of who and what you are. In a league of giants and legends, one man glided above them all. This is the story of Clyde the Glad Drexler, a symbol of grace, athleticism, professionalism, and class. Clyde was born June 22nd, 1962, in Louisiana. He had grown up in Houston, you know, I'm not going to Ross Sterling High School. Graduated in 1980, he played center. He got recruited by local Houston, and ended up going to college there. He worked with Elijah Wong to form Phi Slamma, Jamma. They ended up making it to two Final Fours, one national title game. Imagine that. This game he battled against James Worthy and Michael Jordan. Jordan became his somewhat arch rival over the years. Very similar comparisons. High flying, action packed ballers, naked players. Really Jordan put too hard for Houston to get past. Then he'll go off and beat Georgetown in the national title game after this. He's been averaging over 21 points a game. There he is again. He's got to find something. Nice pass to Drexler. Play by Williams. Boy, they go up Perkins and Worthy. That's an unstoppable pass. Jordan tried to use a glass. He's on follow. He went up against Brian Williams. Now everybody knows what they could. As you can see in Clyde's early years, he brought that Jerry curl like no other. He was one smooth son of a gun. Clyde studied finances in college. Worked at a bank part time during his off time. Very smart individual. Pressing basketball team. 14 points for Michael Jordan. Jordan this year is shooting 71% from the line. And two of those were uncontested layups that were blocked. So it comes to Rose. Look at the effort by Rose again, and that will end it. And North Carolina is headed to the championship game Monday night. Well, that wasn't it for Five Slam and Jamma. They had one more run at it together, and here it was. Down the last 30 seconds, tie ball game. What do you do? Wait and see. Three guards in there now as Gannon's in there with Wittenberg and Lowe. Down to 25 seconds. Dangerous pass. This is a really interesting strategy by Houston. They're aggressive now. Not staying back. But remember, they have a team in there for, to block anything that goes inside. Right They're off Clyde's finish. It's almost. Boy, is he good at that. Got to drive to the basket. It's down to seven seconds. You can see the time. Wittenberg. Oh, that's a long one. Once again, the championship evades Clyde to Glide. As you can see, uh, there's a few men on this team that are very devastated by this loss. They got drafted next year, number 14, as Sampson went number one to Houston. Then the big 84 draft. Hakeem the Dream went number one to Houston, Sam Bowie went number two to Portland to play with Dresden, and Michael Jordan went number three to Chicago. Oh my goodness, what a stacked roster. Not only Joe's Barkley, Joe's daughter, Lodge Juan, and Samson from the Twin Towers. Sam Bowie was plagued by injuries and never did anything in the NBA. He was one of the biggest flops of all time. Samson of the Twin Towers later fell to injury, also ending the Twin Towers short run. Meanwhile, Drexler was doing his thing in P.O. And they were building around him while they were trying to put away that Sam Bowie debacle. Clyde developed into one of the best swing mans in the NBA. All-star rosters, playing slam dunk contests against Jordan. He was the man, baby. The town was screaming, Rip City. It's a scientific fact. Human beings cannot glide for it. When they reach the peak of their jump, they decline in elevation immediately. But Clyde changed that rule. Portland Bill ran Clyde. And Terry Porter, Kevin Duckworth, Cliff Robinson, Buck Williams. Jerome Kersey, Josh Benjamin. I mean, they were stacked, baby. They were ready for a championship run. Seattle leads that one nothing. Dribble drive underneath Porter. Slam dunk. Beautiful play. That's not Porter. It's Drexler. Oh, what a play along the. On a 
Drexler and Portland were one of the hottest teams in the NBA. They were on fleek. I wonder what's going to happen here. Drexler says to go all the way with the game. There's the steal. Drexler runs in. He goes up. He got it. The counts and he's fouled. 127-125 at the horn. Stand, stand by network station. Keep an eye on Harvey Grant. Looks like it's set for him. Mark Bryant on an inbound play. Who's going to break out? It's Drexler. Turns around. Puts it up. It's good! Score the basket! He scores at the horn! Clyde Drexler. And all Ballard got at the buzzer. Nine tenths of a second. He is after a battle with the rest, the Blazers finally made to their championship series against the Detroit Pistons, the bad boys. It had been since 1977, the Blazers had won the finals. They were ready for another rest. The train was locked and loaded, ready to go to Motown. Well, after a valiant effort, the bad boys and the dress of the Blazers and gentlemen sweep 4-1. It was a rough time in the Northwest, but somehow, some way, the Blazers knew they would be back in contention for another one. Watch how Drexler jumps over his seat. I mean, right over him, for God's sake. That you've been asking for. Oh, my. Appreciate the extension. He decides right from here, the foul line, that he's going up over the top of Isaiah. Lead since the first period. All right, Robinson will inbound at Terry Porter. And the Terry next year, this happened in the Western Rector. Conference the Finals game six. Magic. We all remember watching that ball go down the court and our season go down the toilet with it. Oh my gosh. Painful it was. And one tenth of a second remaining to be played on the clock as the ball rolled out of bounds. The Lakers went on to get beat by Michael Jordan and Chicago Bulls for their first title. Once again, the title evaded Drexler. But the next year brought his lifelong arch rival to the plate. It's While they were defending their world championship and looking to back it up with back to back. Drexler and the Blazers had something else in mind. They will go out with a fight. Well, this just might be the spark that this team needs by Clyde Drexler. Taking it to the basket, a piece, rejection. Here's Drexler, yes! And the foul. Another by the wrist and the ankle injury that happened him throughout the early series. Drexler very passing on the shot. Five of the 24. Drexler turns the corner, and normally the next defender is there for Chicago to stop the. Drexler, yes, and it counts. A gorgeous move.
first in that series is the Shrug. Jordan opened up his long ball, his three ball. Poles one and six completed their repeat, their back to back championships. The following year they would get their tri championships, their three peats. He keeps on running into the goat. Barcelona. It was well, only two the weeks Olympics ago were right after those Jerry finals. We started off Portland and Denver, and the Americans, against the, Chicago the greatest Bulls team ever assembled, the dream team, and Drexler and Jordan were on the same team this time. And here they are, moments away from their international debut. qualifying tournaments 10 countries from the western hemisphere are represented here in portland four will move on to barcelona what may well be the dream team ended up dominating the tournament being most of opponents by 41 points the greatest team ever assembled without a doubt this time drexler won his championship and got gold with the rest of the team jordan by his side literally
Charles Barkley. By Armstrong, Pippen with a rebound. We're tied 2-2. That's where Pippen is most dangerous. Uh, Buck Williams picks up the foul from the rear, but you, you have got that in mind. And he the Rockets would pull off one of the biggest trades in franchise history, bringing a hometown favorite back to Houston. From the The dream helped make the dream come true. The teammates were back from college, and they were in the big leagues together. The Sixers' title was right in front of me because I had to take it. And he needed the help of the dream. A young Shaquille O'Neal, Penny Hardaway, and Orlando Magic were going to try to shut down Clyde and the Rockets. of the greatest ball that a center has ever played. single-handedly make sure that the Rockets stayed in the game. Clyde Drexler from downtown. And going into the half, Clyde's emotional surge would give Houston new hope. Anderson thought he was fouled. Under a minute left of the half. Drexler back at the other Well, the defending champions put a open on Orlando in 4-0 in the sweep. And they became clutch city. Finally, Drexler was a world champion. Picking up some big names like Charles Barkley. Finally gets the ring. He's got it. He's got it. The trio started showing age. They weren't what they were. Every seat in the summit has been sold tonight for the first meeting of the season between two teams who fought for the end. Jump ball. Jackson was late. He was still a protected player. And Elijah Moore steals and gets it on the way up. Now he gets it. Down is one of the greatest. Barkley for three. Nice way to open the game. Yes. Yeah. And I think that's the message, Matt. Ellie can't make it go. Here's Elijah Wong with a loose ball. And another turnover. Drexler, the jumper over Oakley for three. Another turn one, too, as the Knicks, as the uh, Rockets come down. Barkley, 4-3. Yes. Boy, he's shooting that well. 
and in most cases, you don't mind him taking that shot to deal with the Knicks. Now he's starting to run his mouth a little bit, and the Reds will watch that. Barclay is still a John, and Charles Oakley. Go down as a champion. We go down as a classic professional, old body and superstar player. He did what was necessary to win. He was the man who redefined physics. Escape that we can glide as you were being. We got to wrap it up where he started in Houston. Thank you for the many years of high flying rim rocking and soaring. Entertainment, Clyde. You can never be forgotten, my friend. And it looks like this will be the final game for Clyde Drexler of the Rockets. Clyde, the glide, first caught the eye of the Clyde got inducted to the Hall of Fame in 2004 and also in 2010 with the Dream Team, so twice. Ladies and gentlemen, Clyde Drexler. And here it is, Clyde Drexler leading an NBA game for the final time. And the basketball savvy fans here in Salt Lake City give him a standing ovation. to the Hall of Fame by Julius Irving. And I'm extremely honored to have him present me tonight because think about this, I'm dreaming tonight. As I said earlier guys, some of you may have heard it. I am dreaming, I don't want to be awakened. <laughs> to other family and friends and NBA fans around the world. I say to you all, it's been a great journey. I thank you for the many, the many honors that I've received. It's been a pleasure, it's been a blessing. Only through the hands of God have I been able to accomplish what I've accomplished. And no one is more aware of that, of that presence than I am. And I say to all of you, thank you, thank you, thank you.